Once upon a time, in the era of 1867, the world economy starts its journey to build a modern civilization by trading and exchanging resources all around the world using the sea's pathways. So as Canal and Malacca Strait are two of the most famous trading pathways, a lot of trading people ship around the world used to trade and import their sources there. Malacca Strait was one of the famous trading centers at the time as it lies in the strategic location as well as linking route between the Indian Ocean and the South China Sea. Malacca Strait is protected from the northeast monsoon winds and the usage of Bahasa Melayu or the Malay language which was considered as lingua franca during the era. Oi oi, there it is. Malacca, here we come. Get ready to release the anchor. Ai ai chip! Uh, please don't hurt me. I only have a cat to take care of. Please release us. I don't have any money or even family. <laughs> Too late. We already caught your captain. The ship has been hijacked and all the goods are ours. <laughs> the ship was on its way to Malacca from China. It brings potries, teas and spices to trade with other traders. The ship changed its way to the pirate secret places near Malacca. This incident has reached the ruler of Malacca at that time who was Sultan Ismail. Forgive me, my lord. I came to tell you shocking news. The trader ship from China has been hijacked by the pirates just now. What? How dare they? This will cause a huge problem to our trading activities. The traders will run away and we will lose our influence in global trading. Ask our maritime force to make their preparation now. The Malacca Maritime Force rushed to the place and watched the movements in and out of trader ships around Malacca Strait to keep them safe from the pirates. Knowing that the Maritime Force guarded the area, the pirates planned their strategy. Something is already up to their sleeves. One night, the pirates came again to Malacca Strait at one night with a few more ships to attack the Maritime Force on duty. On my command, attack! Don't give them a chance to escape! <laughs> the war begins. The sounds of spears and creases broke the silence of the night in the middle of the Malacca Strait. The ships are filled with dead bodies hovering over them. This scene was seen by a young man named Tunade, who is a famous blacksmith in Malacca, as he was on his way back with another ship nearby to Malacca after a long time leaving his own country. Tun Nadi is a famous blacksmith that lots of weapons used for self-defense and war were made by him such as creases, spears and even for the warriors of Malacca's palace. After the clashes ended, the clouds suddenly started to pour a heavy rain clearing the blood-soaked ship's floors. The head of the maritime force, Fleet Admiral Abdullah, felt that his team cannot stand any longer. Half of them had been killed. He thought that it is time to step back. Stop! We need to retreat, lest we would be killed. They ran away to the piers and they went straight to Istana Seri Kembangan to see the Sultan. Oh, Tuanku, we didn't make it, Your Majesty. They are a lot and they are really skillful in using creases and spears. Ah, uh, how can this be? This must not be inevitable. What should we do next, Your Majesty? Let me think for a while. I need some moments alone. Ampun Tuanku, I have just recently arrived in Malacca. What is happening to our trading activities here, Your Majesty? Do not day, long time, no see you, sir. We have unwelcome news now. The pirates, they are causing us troubles. Yeah. I witnessed the incident with my own eyes that our maritime forces had a big war with them when I was on my way back here. Thank God that I managed to get to you here, Your Majesty. Tunade, you still have your blacksmithing skills, right? I do and will always do, Your Majesty. What's happening now might be related to me. Why is that so, if I may ask, Your Majesty? As far I can remember, Raika who is the head of the pirates is my childhood friend. He is a kind person since his father was prisoned under my father's order, Sultan Malik Nursi. 
on a criminal case did by Raika's father. He was prisoned until his last breath. Raika was only 11 at that time. Then his mom too passed away three weeks later due to the extreme grief to the loss of her husband. That is why he grew up full of hatred and would avenge unto my family and me. Oh, I see. Then, how may we stop him now and forever, Your Majesty? Okay, listen. I kept this secret for a long time. I think this is the right time to use this secret as our trump card. Here in the sack, there is a map that indicates the exact location of the special weapon of all time. And it's, it's unique compared to all the weapons that, that you have made before. The weapon would be called the Kuris Kesuma. These skills will protect anyone who owns it. No one can hurt them even if they are stabbed with any killing weapons. Therefore, I want you, the greatest blacksmith, to forge this Kris Kesuma with your, with your skills to Nadi. Wow, that sounds amazing. I can feel the victory is already in our hand. Alright, as you wish, Your Majesty. On the next day, he went to his workshop and prepared himself to find the Kris. Okay, here we go. He went to the Silang Kabuana forest, brought his own spirit and braveness by himself. The sun shines through the big trees and the sound of the grasshoppers crack the silence of the forest. <sighs> well, it is time to have some rest. My stomach is hungry already. He pulled out some rice and bread from his bag and enjoyed meals. Suddenly, he heard something moved in the bushes. He woke up and pulled out his crease from the wrist ready for something bad. Out of the blue, a big snake sized of his chungal trunks came out from the bushes and stand in front of him. Who are you? How did you come here? You just disturbed me with your food. I am Tunade. I'm coming here to find the curse Kasuma. Ha 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 ha. Who give you the order to steal the curse, huh? I am the one who takes good care of it for a long, long time. No one can take it from me. <laughs> Where is the Chris now? He was hidden in a cave not far from here. If you want the Chris, you should kill me first. The snake suddenly packed to Nade, but he quickly dodged aside. The snake attacked him a few times before he stabbed the snake's eyes with his Chris and the snake died. <laughs> Finally. I did it! Then he quickly searched for a cave nearby and found a big cave. Yeah, I found it! I found it! The Chris was engraved with beautiful traditional art but full of rust. The next morning, he went back to his workshop and working on the Chris Kasuma. It took quite some time to finish, but Tunade succeeded. Ha! Huh, finally, it's done! I need to see the Sultan right away! Ampun Tuanku! I have already restored this curse, Kasuma. Please, behold upon it, Your Majesty. Whoa, I'm overly impressed with this beauty. What an amazing curse. I can't believe that it really comes to exist. My pleasure, Your Majesty. I am proud to be of service for you and the people. Now, I want you to hold it and I will ask my Hulubalang to step you from every side. Are you ready? I feel nervous a little bit, but... I'm ready, Your Majesty. The Hulubalang slashed his stomach and his back a few times, but nothing happened to him, not even a scratch. Wow, it works! <laughs> it works! Yes, it works! This could really mean victory for us! How amazing! Good. Now may I entrust you with this Chris and go on with the mission to eliminate Raikal Tunade? I believe you. You have the skill to handle this weapon. Tunade, who appeared to have watched a lot of warriors handling creases and tried it himself, agreed with a proposal by Sultan Ismail. So now, I want you to go to Raikal place tonight and kill him. He is the cause of our problem right now. We need him gone for good by any means. As you wish, my lord. Once midnight falls, Tunade went to Kota Purilanga where the pirates are hiding. As he arrived at Kota Purilanga, he saw many of his recruits are patrolling the place. Suddenly, Tunadi saw Raikal went into his house. Hmm. 
there he is. I must be watchful to remain unattended. This f- this place is full of guards. Whew. Without further ado, he started his move nearer and nearer to the place from the back and enters the room where I call was prepared to bed. Tornade swiftly moved into the spot and slashed through Raikal's heart. Huh, goodbye Raikal. God will like to see you now. Dumbfounded by how quickly things happened, Tornade remained still at the local for a while. Then unexpectedly, Raikal's fellow men entered Raikal's room with a rush and found Tornade with Raikal's dead body. Hey, what are you doing? Everyone, attack this intruder! Then, a big war occurred between Tornade and the pirates. They stabbed him from the in front and the back, but nothing happened to him because he was holding the Chris Kasuma. With that special power, he killed all the pirates by himself. Finally, Tornade won the battle. I did it. I shall head back to the palace and inform Sultan Ismail now. He went back to the palace and tell Sultan Ismail about the victory. The Sultan was cheered to know that. Tornade gave back the Chris Kusuma to the Sultan and decided to just go back home. I am really proud of you, Tornade. We are free from the pirates now. Thanks a lot. But don't you want to keep this for yourself? No, I don't think so. I just want to go back to my hometown and start a new life with my family again. If that's your decision, then I respect that. Tornade gave back the Kuris Kasuma to Sultan Ismail and went back home. Sadly, on the way back to his home, Tornade was arrowed in his chest with 12 arrows by the pirate secret agent who has been eyeing on him for quite some time. He was left dead tragically. The news spread to Sultan Ismail and he was incredibly sad and blamed himself for not being adamant to him to keep the Kuris Kasuma for his safety. Ampun tuanku, Tunade was killed on his way home. We suspected that he was killed by the secret agents. Oh God, forgive me for this. This is my fault, not keeping him guarded onto the way back. I must be responsible for his for this matter. Don't worry, Tunade. As long as this grace I possess, I will avenge for your death. This is just the beginning of the legend of the Kuris Kasuma.